Hello, uh, my name is Ines Werner. I'm a dermatologist and um, I work in uh, Tel Aviv. Um, I'm a dermatologist for many years already and actually when I finished my uh, residency already quite many years ago, um, I entered into cosmetic uh, dermatology which was uh, just a starting field so we didn't have so many treatments or so many treatment options at that time and um, I entered into this field and actually little by little it became it grew and uh, so my practice grew and now we have kind of a bigger clinic in uh, Tel Aviv for already a while and uh, in our clinic we have five treatment rooms we have different uh, treatment options so we treat patients naturally by all the different non-invasive modalities that uh, there are. So we treat uh, naturally by uh, injection of fillers, we use botulinum toxin, and a big, huge part of our clinic is the use of energy-based technologies, which are really upcoming in uh, recent years. So what we actually have seen is that if in the past energy-based uh, device technologies have been just a small part of um, what we do, lately we see really more and more technologies that are used, and the technologies are also much better and easier uh, to use. So regarding uh, trends in this uh, field, so one trend is, uh, as I said, the use of energy-based technologies, energy-based devices, fractional technologies, radio frequency, lasers, all of these technologies are actually uh, coming up and we, will s we see that and we will see that more and more. Also, another trend that we see in the clinic is that if in the past, our patients were like a little bit uh, older so I can say that most of our patients are between 40 and 60. What we see lately is that we have more and more younger patients so some patients which are in their 30s and even younger ones which come with acne scars and um, or actually some uh, little blemishes and this whole field of prejuvenation is also coming up. So more and more patients would like to prevent the signs of aging, to get a little bit of a better skin, uh, smoother skin, and there also this is also a trend that we actually see. Um, for the future, for the future, the trends that um, I think are going to be are, as, as we talked, uh, younger patients, younger people will start this treatment younger because, younger because we understand now that the younger you start with the cosmetic aesthetic treatments or to improve and to take care of our skin, the better we, we will look when we age. The other uh, part will be technology. I think technology will be used more and more over the years, so we'll have more and more technology, more advanced technology, and also I think AI, artificial intelligence, is going to be a really big part of this. It's not there yet, but I think we're gonna see it, and also we're gonna see more and more personalization of treatments, because each patient actually needs a personalized approach, a better approach specifically uh, to him or her. And now I think we want to go over to acne. So another topic we'd like to discuss is actually acne and acne scars because this is something that actually we started um, treating, we started treating actually acne scars. This was uh, our aim first and from there we actually went on to treating acne because we saw that when we treat the scars early, we, even when people have active acne, we have a tremendous improvement of the acne by the energy-based devices. So acne is actually a disease, a problem, which we see mainly in younger people. So about 85% of people between 12 and 24 
people have acne, which is actually a very, very high prevalence of this uh, problem. But it's not only a problem of younger people. As we see now, there are also older people. So like 20% of males in their 30s will have acne and even more than 20 of females in their 40s will also still have acne. So it's also a problem of adults. Now, this uh, problem of acne is actually a problem of the pilosebaceous unit. So it's the sebaceous gland together with the hair follicle, which are actually the area of this uh, disease. And what is actually happening is that the out the, the the way out of the sebum is actually obstructed so we have we see that the upper parts of the follicle are actually closing up and in this way we have comedo production so actually we see these black and white comedons on the skin later on we see inflammation so we see redness we see papules we see actually redness and inflammation on the skin and even later, we can see more severe inflammation with actually cysts and nodules, which are actually bigger uh, inflamed uh, lesions on the face. Now, uh, the problem is, and the main problem, is that this disease can actually lead to scarring. And this is a huge problem, as we see many, many youngsters who come and they really suffer from this uh, problem. It's a huge problem. Some people even don't want to go out of their house just because of this. So they really, it leads to depression, feeling bad. And um, so as it is also a problem mainly of uh, teenagers. So it's important to treat. And what has happened actually in uh, recent years is that we understood that we need to treat early. So we don't let people now be with this acne and the acne scars for a long time, we understood that first of all, we have to treat the disease early to prevent scarring. And this is very, very important. And I'll talk to you also about the options for treatment. But also if we see scarring, we shouldn't wait. We should really start treating it as soon as possible to get the best result and to be able to give our patients a smooth skin. Now, when we talk about active acne, we have several treatment options. And as you know, some of them are uh, topical, so we can actually put an antibiotic uh, um, um, like um, solution or a gel on top of the face, or we can actually give patients oral medications such as uh, antibiotics, minocycline or isotretinoin, or um, uh, sometimes it's uh, oral anticonception in uh, females. And these are actually the main treatment options that we have. Lately, we started to treat acne by energy-based devices. And as I told you, what we saw was that when we used the microneedling radio frequency by Polygen using the Legend Pro, we saw that when we treat the scars, we actually have an improvement in the acne. And this was very, very interesting for us because we, t we saw these patients, they had a uh, beginning of scarring, we saw this uh, improvement in the scars, but even without medication, we actually saw also uh, improvement in the acne. And then we actually started treating also active, active acne with this technology. And now what we do is we combine technology and then we take the Legend Pro, the microneedling, and we'll talk a little bit more about this further. We take this technology, we can treat around five times. So once in three to four weeks, we can actually treat our um, patients, but also we treat them at the same time with uh, oral antibiotics or topicals depending on what this patient can have and uh, what we would like to give them. So one of the protocols is to use low dose isotretinoin which was something that we thought we cannot do because uh, we use low doses of this, uh, of this uh, drug together with the microneedling 
radio frequency and this together in combination actually works fantastically both um, for the acne and also for the acne scar so we can use like isotretinoin twice a week or three times a week uh, one tablet and we do the microneedling radio frequency around one time per month for around five months and this gives a very very good improvement of the acne scars so we see really that uh, the acne scars improve and naturally also uh, the active uh, acne so um, i'd like to talk to you a little bit more about the advantage of the volyderm technology for the combination treatment of the microneedling together with isotretinoin which we've been doing uh, lately so um, as you know, isotretinoin is actually a medication that has quite a few side effects, such as uh, it gives a lot of dryness, uh, there is a sensitivity to the sun, and so, uh, and this is seen actually when we use higher doses. When we use the same medication in lower doses, actually this medication has nearly no side effects. And this is something that we actually this did using this uh, combination. So we use the microneedling radio frequency actually together with a very, very low dose of isotretinoin. So instead of using like 40 to 60 milligrams daily, we actually use something like 40 milligrams per week. So it's a big, big difference in the dose. And this is why we can really reduce the side effects. Another effect is the effect on the scars. So what we see with the Volyderm technology is that we little by little actually have new collagen build up and thus improvement of the scars. And this, in my opinion, is also actually a little bit improved by the isotretinoin. So there is kind of a synergistic effect on acne scars. Also, what we see here is a synergistic effect, actually a combined effect on the acne itself, because of course, isotretinoin has an effect on acne in low doses, much less than in the higher doses. But because we combine these two technologies, actually the effect is much, much larger because the microneedling radio frequency itself also improves the the acne, the active acne itself. So these are two different, completely different approaches, which by combination actually lead to healing of the acne and also healing of the acne scars. Another point that um, was a discussion point is actually the length of the needles. So the needles can be up to one millimeter in this uh, technology, but as we know, this is actually enough for the face, mainly for the face and for the neck. This depth is enough because this is exactly where we want to be to actually improve and have an effect of the collagen. For people with thinner skin, we can actually even have less long needles. The length of the needles to use doesn't actually matter so much. So, so because with the um, shorter needles, you actually still get a tissue effect even at the right level of the dermis, just because what we need is actually a little bit of destruction, of coagulation, but also of heating to induce this new collagen formation. And the needles of the, with the one millimeter length are actually quite deep, and this is actually enough for the face to give the right tissue effect and to improve uh, wrinkles, uh, acne scarring, and other indications that we have for this technology. I can talk a little bit also about the Polygen uh, Legend Pro because this is the technology that we use and we really like it. And actually, when I look at other technologies, which are also radio frequency based, so when we compare this technology to other uh, radio frequency, fractional radio frequency technologies, there are actually uh, two main uh, points that we can say. One is that this technology is not painful. So it's a microneedling RF that is not painful at all. And when I compare it to others, 
there is really a difference because with this technology it's possible to treat patients even without any topical anesthetic which is very very nice so they just come in we just clean the skin and we can start uh, treatment so this is a very very big plus the second point is that um, needles go out go in into the tissue very very smoothly so you don't need to push it's an automatic mechanism they just go in patients nearly feel nothing and the energy is given out in the dermis where we want it to be so where we actually have the acne scars and the problematic um, areas and the same also for rejuvenation so this is the area where we would like uh, the treatment to be uh, active so this is something that uh, we really uh, like and also the other point is that because this treatment is so mild and it is in the dermis we have very few side effects so patients actually people actually go out after the treatment and they are a little bit red but actually they can put on makeup and just go and have their day or and it will be the redness will be gone if, either the same day or the day uh, after which is actually very very easy on people so there is no need to stay at home there is no downtime it's a very very uh, easy treatment for um, for the patient so people like it a lot it's not painful it's easy and they see results so this is really uh, a great great uh, thing so um, regarding the protocol a little bit more so we treat mostly patients once in two to four weeks if the um, the, uh, the problem is very active we can even do treatments once in two weeks but mostly we try to treat our patients once in three weeks to once in uh, four weeks and uh, we just go over the skin and it's really it goes very fast for patients um, for rejuvenation if we talk for acne and acne scars that would be the protocol so five times around once a month um, if we use the same technology for um, skin rejuvenation actually we use nearly the same protocol and also we see very very uh, nice uh, results with skin tightening with lifting with smoothening of the skin and um, a very very nice uh, improvement we also combine the volume technology with other technologies and techniques so for instance lately we combine it with oxygeneo uh, to treat the skin and we do the volume first and then a week later we use the oxygeneo and results are very very promising and this is a study that we are actually doing at the moment um, the other combinations are with uh, IPLs, for instance, to reduce pigmentation and reduce some erythema on the skin, redness, to reduce uh, redness and uh, pigmentation on the skin. Other, pigmentation, uh, other combinations are with fillers, with botulinum toxin. So actually, it is very, very possible and easy to combine this technology with uh, other uh, technologies or technique, treatment techniques to get even better results and to actually personalize the treatment to every patient. So in conclusion, the Volioderm technology is a very good technology. It's not painful, it's very effective, and what is the most important is that patients really like it and want to come back to have more treatments, and this is really, really important point and also we treat with it many many different indications acne scars acne we rejuvenate the skin with it we can also treat dilated pores stria and some other indications for treat to treat the skin so thank you so much for uh, listening thank you for being here and uh, see you soon somewhere at a major meeting or somewhere else in the world bye